Welcome to a winter night. My camera dropped. All right. Welcome to a winter night in Cluj Napoca Central Park. So at the end of my last video, I said that when lean bulking, you must make sure that you are actually gaining weight and uh, that you are gaining muscle. Uh, but someone commented, said in the comments that Greg advised something different. He said to disregard weight and uh, only focus on strength to gain muscle mass as weight can be misleading because it may be fat and not actually muscle. I want to address this because I think that is very important. My opinion is that in the lifting world you have two categories of people. Number one, category number one are the guys that uh, always found weight gain and muscle gains very easy. But they always had difficulty with getting lean and staying lean. So this is category number one. Then we have category number two which are the guys that uh, never had an issue staying lean. They lose fat fairly quickly but uh, weight gain was a challenge for them and muscle gains were a, a much bigger challenge. Now, uh, the people giving fitness advice online are themselves found in one of these two categories. And based on the category they are in, they will give different advice or they will put it differently. Because uh, we naturally think that most people have the same problems that we do and we want to help them the best we can. So uh, we always see life through our experiences. And as it happens, Greg and I happen to be in different categories. Greg is in category number one and I am in, in category number two. And I want you to check out the difference in perspective. In a recent video, Greg said that over the last five years, he never did an intentional bulk. Yet, his body weight fluctuated anywhere between uh, 165 and 195 pounds. So that is a 30 pound difference uh, in body weight without actually bulking. People in category number one have a natural tendency to eat big and gain weight. Uh, so for example, Greg, I don't think that Greg was ever, ever concerned with uh, not gaining weight. Uh, he was always concerned with preventing weight gain. How do you not gain too much weight? That was the issue. So naturally, if you're the kind of guy that eats big all the time and for them weight gains happens automatically, you don't talk to people about that. You don't advise them to bulk because you assume they do that anyway, that weight gain happens automatically for other people uh, anyway. You, you tend to talk about more how to stay lean. You, t you tend to talk about uh, preventing overeating. That uh, is uh, usually your, uh, your main focus. Now check out my perspective. I never had an issue with losing fat and staying lean. That was my natural tendency. But I always struggled with gaining muscle. Weight gain doesn't happen automatically for me. Overeating is not something that I do unless I make the decision to do it. Unless I make the decision to eat more, I won't. So uh, if I were to disregard weight gain when lean bulking and only focusing on strength, that would actually be a mistake for me because I wouldn't actually gain weight. I wouldn't be in a surplus, uh, never. So uh, unless you are in a surplus for at least some time of the year, you cannot maximize muscle growth. A siren again. It's tradition already. So naturally, when looking at the world through my perspective, I always tell people to watch their weight also when they are lean bulking. Because I don't assume that their uh, weight is gonna go up automatically without them thinking about it. Uh, if you are in category number one, that is probably the, probably the case. If you uh, tend to overeat often, then sure, only focus on strength and uh, that will lead to all the muscle mass you need. But if you are the kind of guy that is lean, uh, that stays lean all the time, then you need to also track your weight when you are lean bulking. So I have two takeaways for you in this video. Number one, you should identify the category that you fit in because once you know that, you will know what you need to focus on. If you're the kind of guy that uh, naturally eats big, then you probably need to focus more, you need to learn more about how to stay lean all the time because I think that is your challenge and that should be your, uh, your main focus. But if you're the kind of guy that stays lean all the time and uh, always had issues with gaining muscle, then studying how to gain muscle should be your uh, primary focus. You should learn uh, more about training, how to make your training more efficient. And of course, uh, nutrition is really all about uh, eating the right number of calories and macros and uh, a few other things that really don't matter. 
And number two, when looking for advice online, know that most people share what was valuable for them and their challenges. Their challenges may not be your challenges and you may need to follow, you may need to not follow their advice in that specific area because you may require something different. Ideally for each uh, kilogram or pound of body weight you gain, uh, you should be able to increase your bench press by 3 kilograms or pounds, your weighted chin-ups by 